the area of a regular pentagon inscribed in a circle. So if that is the case, let's have a circle somewhere here. Okay, we have a circle. Um, this is a circle. Um, okay. And that's, let's make it a bit deeper with, let's say, three points. Yes, that makes sense. And um, if that is the case, the next thing we need to do here is to, okay, so now let's see. A pentagon has how many sides? That is five sides, five sides. So let's draw. This is a one, two, three, four, five five sides now this is the center of a circle because we are told that the circle has a radius 12 centimeters so that will be from the any point on the circumference to that point will be 12 centimeters of course representing radius any point on the circumference to that same point is also the radius so if this is 12 this is also 12 i can also say the same thing here 12 i can also say this here 12 I can also do the same thing here, this is also 12. So if that is the case, we're told a pe regular pentagon, a regular pentagon, that means all the angles are, all the interior angles are what? The same. And if that is the case, all I have to do here is, sum of angle at the point here is what? 360, so I will just divide 360 by, yes, so let's see, I'll just divide 360 by five, so that will give me five in 36, is seven, remainder one in 10 is two, so that will be 72 degrees. So the angle formed here will be 72 degrees, same as this and every other angle. And uh, if you check this, you see that there must be five. One, two, three, four, five. So that means we're on point. We have 72 degrees here. And um, if that is the case, let's see if this will work somewhere here. Okay, yes, so we have this. So I take this a bit up. I'm taking it a bit up and if that is the case i'm to calculate the area of this pentagon inscribed the area of that pentagon inscribed in that circle and that shouldn't give me any headache anyway so if that is the case all i have to do is to calculate the area of one triangle and when i'm through with the area of one triangle then i'll multiply by what by five area of one triangle area of one triangle will be equal to what let's check it out you already have the answer to that that will be the formula is half r squared sine theta so that will be half times 12 times 12 times sine 72 degrees and um, if that is the case i'm taking that a bit up and that gives me um, half times um, 12 times 12 times sine 72 degrees. Confirm that. So we have sine uh, okay, so let's say 72 72 and the sine of 72 is that. Let's multiply by 144 because that is the same thing as um, 12 times 12. Then you multiply by 0 0.5, which is half. So you have 68.47. So let me just put this back. Yeah, so, so let's see. So our answer will be 68.48, 68.48, thank you. That will be 68.48 centimeters squared. And uh, when I'm through with that, all I have to do is multiply this by what? By five. So therefore, the area, the area of the pentagon the area of the pentagon is 5 times 68.48. And that gives you 
5 times 8 is 40. Write 0, carry 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Um, add 4 to it. That's 24. You have two, 4 carry 2. 5 times 8, 40. Um, that will be 2 carry 4. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus 4, that will give you 34. So you have 34. 2.4240 watt centimeters squared.